Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to look how can we go ahead and install Pi-hole, our network-wide ad blocking software on our Raspberry Pi using Casa OS. So let's do it. First of all, let me just open my Safari and uh, my Casa OS is right now on IP14. Okay, so it's logged in, uh, took my password from the machine. So let's move to App Store. And from here, here is the Pi hole. Let's just go ahead and install it. And the default password is Casa OS. Let's just go ahead and click OK. And it will start installing the software. It might take a moment. So I'll fast forward the video. <laughs> Now the Pi hole is installed and uh, the CPU is right now on 45%. That means we need to wait until it's settled down to 2 or 4%. Now the CPU is settled down to 4%, uh, no movement. That means uh, the Pi hole has been installed successfully. It's on 3. So now we can go ahead and open the Pi hole. And it's open. Let's type the password casa os let's see we have the pi hole dashboard in front of us and we need to configure it on our router i'm going to open the router screen now and configure the ip address of pi hole in my router from here we need to put the ip address of the pi hole it's 14 and for the secondary dns we can use the google dns or we can use 111 that is Cloudflare DNS and apply your data have been saved now move back to pi hole and uh, we need to open a website that have some type of ads I'm opening a website on my phone to check whether it's working absolutely fine or not I'm just disconnecting from the router and connecting again now pi hole start uh, querying four active clients because we have routed the DNS through our pi hole and uh, I need to open a website let's try eBay I have opened the eBay on my phone try to open some other websites let's open the website here eBay so we don't see any ads here I think this is because the ad guard enabled on this website let's just pause the ad card for some time and then refresh the page again now uh, the buy hole settings applied successfully on the network because the ads are vanished from here let's try one more website filehorse.com here are the ads as you can see Let's just refresh the page again. I'm restarting the router. So the new settings will be saved. Now, after applying the settings on my router, uh, what I did, I already, uh, I also applied the settings here to check whether the Pi hole is working fine or not. So move to the Wi-Fi settings, then go to the network and details from here. I put the DNS of my Pi hole right here. And once I click OK, the pie hole start working. We can check the active clients now. The client is added here. 192.168.1.5. That's the IP of my Mac Mini. It's working. And you can see 47 query blocked. Let's try the other website. And once we go back, you can see don't allow so 190 query is blocked that means it's working fine and uh, i recommend you to go to the tools and then update gravity as well this is the list from where it fetch the information from the internet and remove the unwanted ads from our web browser so this is working absolutely fine now let me just try to remove the DNS and check one more time whether it's working or not. So it's completely blocking all the ads from the network. Now you can also try the same method on your Raspberry Pi 
and uses a network wide ad blocker to block all the ads from your network. In my next video, I'll show you how you can configure CASA OS on a static IP address so we can resolve the problem of IP being changed on every restart. Now that's it for today. If you like my work, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, press the bell notification for my latest video. Share this video with your family and friends so they can also configure their Raspberry Pi and make it productive. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day.